So the name of this, all these structures, you will realize that they end with A and E. We have methane, we have ethane, we have propane, we have butane. So their names, as you can see, they end with A and E because it means that they are in the alkane family. So like for example, we see that we have the first one which is methane. So the name of this structure is supposed to be meth. The first, the first carbon atom is supposed to be meth. M-E-T-H, that's the name. But since it is in the alkane family, so we finish with the word A-N-E, to read methane. So apart from that, we have the next one, which is ethane. Uh, so ethane, again, remember, the name of the two carbon atoms is supposed to be eth. But now, since we are in the alkane family, we end with A-N-E to represent the full name, which is ethane. The third member is, built, uh, is prop. So prop is the name of the three carbon atom. But since it is in the alkane family, we end with A-N-E to read propane. And then number four, it is but, B-U-T, supposed to be but. So since in, it's in the alkane, we end with A-N-E to read butane. Apart from that, we have five, five which is pent. Like for example, in the US, we have the pentagon. So pent means five, it has five corners. So like also, for example, here we have pent, pent which means five. So the name is pent, but since it is in the alkane family, so the name ends with A-N-E to represent that it is an alkane. So it reads now, um, it reads now pentane, yeah, it reads now pentane. Then after that we have hex, hex means six because it is a hexagon. Hexagon is a six-figured structure, so we have hex, and then since it is in the alkane, so it ends with an uh, a and E to read hexane, and so on. We have the next one is heptane. We have uh, heptane number seven. We have octane, which is number nine. We have uh, which is number eight rather. Octane is number eight. We have nonane, which is number nine, and then family we have decane, which is number ten. So decane means that the carbon atoms are ten, and then hydrogen atoms are twenty-two. Because if you take N, it's the number of carbon atoms. So it, in this case, it means that N is 10. For the decane, that is. For the decane, the value of N is equal to 10. So how many hydrogens does it have? So to calculate the number of hydrogens, you are going to use the formula. So we're going to say C10H2N, whereby in this case, our N is equal to, our N is 10. So we're going to say 2 times 10 and then plus 2. So we're going to get the value of hydrogens is 22. So for the decane, we have C10 and then H22. So always take note, for you to find the value of hydrogens in the, in hal, uh, in the alkanes, so what you only do, you just look at the how many carbons do you have, then calculate for hydrogens, and then you'll be good to go. So you also see that since the members of alkane series differ by CH2, because each member you'll realize that it has differed from the next member by only CH2. Like for example, you see we have methane. Let's uh, differentiate between methane and ethane. So for the methane, it has only one carbon, and then it has four hydrogens. What's the difference between methane and ethane? So methane has one carbon and four hydrogens. Ethane, we see that it now has two carbon and six hydrogen. So let's compare between ethane and propane. Propane is uh, number three, ethane is number two. So you see that ethane is C2H6, propane is C3H8. So what's the difference? So the difference is that the ethane has two carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms. Propane has three carbon atoms and eight hydrogen atoms. So you see that most of these members, all these members, they differ. They differ from one another with one carbon and two hydrogens. One carbon and two hydrogen. So since these members differ by a similar unit, which is one carbon and two hydrogen, therefore, they form the homologous series. As you remember, we said the homologous series. So the members differ from the other members with a similar unit. So from the first member to the last member, they differ using a similar unit, which is one carbon and two hydrogen atoms. Like for example, you, you might be asked a question in an exam. Uh, so find out how many hydrogens are there in the following hydrocarbons. Then you have been given, uh, the number of carbon atoms is five. So you have been given, we have five carbon atoms. So how many hydrogens does it have? That is letter A. 
And then letter B to that will be asked, identify the hydrocarbon. So you see that we have five, uh, we have five carbon in that question. So we have five carbons. So it means that our value of N, N is equals to five. So to calculate this is so simple. So we already know that we have C5. So how do you know how many hydrogens we have? You just use the formula. So we have C5 and then H2 times 5 plus 2. So if we calculate it correctly, we are going to get that the number of hydrogen atoms is 12. So in this case, the structure is C5H12. That is letter A. So hydrogens are 12. So letter B is asking identify, identify the, identify the hydrocarbon. So the hydrocarbon there, the alkane is pentane. So it is pentane because pent means five carbons, nitano. So since carbons nitano, it will mean that this is a pentane. So it is a pentane. If you use the formula correctly, if you calculate everything correctly, it's supposed to give us C5 and then H12, that is the structure of pentane. The same question, we might be given uh, three carbon atoms. So you have been told that you have been given three carbon atoms. Calculate the number of hydrogen atoms in the structure. So if you have been told to calculate the number of hydrogen atoms in the structure, so we'll know that our N is equals to three because carbons are three. So our N is equal to three. So since our N is equal to three, so we'll know that uh, since N is equals to three, if we use the formula, we'll say, C, C3 and then H2 times 3 plus 2. So we're going to get that the value of our hydrogens is 8. So we have only 8 hydrogens. Letter B is asking, identify the, identify the hydrocarbon. So the hydrocarbon is a propane. Why is it propane? We just look at the number of carbon atoms. We have three carbon atoms. So since we have three carbon atoms, that is a prop. It's an alkene, so it's a propane. We end the name with A and E. It's an alkene. And it's as simple as that. So apart from that, we see that in all alkanes, the distribution of bonds around each carbon atom is tetrahedral. So the alkanes, they have a tetrahedral structure. So you see that the distribution, the distribution of the bonds found in the alkane, they have a tetrahedral structure. Like for example, you can see here, for example, you can see for the methane. So for the methane, you see it's, it is like the foot of a duck how the duck steps down like this, and then we have one toe on this side, one toe on that side, one toe on that side. So it, methane looks exactly like a foot of a duck, how the foot of a duck looks like. So the foot of a duck, the effort is being pushed down from the center, and then we have the first, uh, the first finger, the, next to, uh, the first toe, second, and the third. So this structure which is formed is called a tetrahedral structure. So they form a tetrahedral structure with at least 109.5 degrees between the hydrogen atoms. So at least we have 109.5 degrees, as you can see in the structure. So if I've been asked in an exam, we'll say that the structure of most alkanes, they assume a tetrahedral structure. So that is that. So for the homologous series, again, remember, for the homologous series, we say that the members of the homologous series, they must have the same general formula Members differ from one another by a similar unit, and then these members also share the same uh, properties, including the physical properties and the chemical properties. So you should not forget that. Apart from that, know that the alkanes, they differ, the members of the alkanes differ from one another by a CH2 unit. So like for example, methane imachanana, imachanana ethane by CH2, ethane imachanana propane by CH2, meaning that one carbon and two hydrogen atom. So since they have all these characteristics, we can say that the alkanes, they indeed show, uh, show a pattern in the homologous series because those members behave like the same. It's like they're brothers, they're of the same family.